Hey guys, it's Brandy. I just wanted to hop on and share with you guys some projects that I've been working on. Um, I've been getting lots of crafty stuff done. Um, still have more to do, so I will be sharing those as soon as I can because some of them I can't share till after the holidays um, and until after they've been gift. But um, I'm going to go ahead and share a few with you guys um, and hope you guys like them. So first is my December daily. I'm going to start doing this for the first time. I haven't done it, but I've seen YouTube videos on it, and I've been wanting to do one, but never knew how or anything like that. So what I did is I got a chipboard album from Hobby Lobby, and I painted it with red acrylic paint, and then I cut up some paper from a paper stack or a paper kit that I'm going to be using in my December daily. And then I just mod podged it onto the cover and then the spine here. And then I used one of the cut aparts for the front. It says it's beginning to look like Christmas. And then on the inside, I did the same thing on this page. And then I'm just doing the pocket style kind. And I already started December 1st. And I'm going to be using a couple different dies and stamp sets. To make this. Uh, one is I got this die set from Sizzix that came with the sidekick for all my numbers. So I'm going to be using that. And then I might be using some of this uh, You've Got Class uh, Close to My Heart stamp set for some of the numbers and letters and all that good stuff. And then I also have the Illusions Creative Diary um, stamp set. And I got two different, it's got this font here, which is actually backwards, that I can use for December here and then the numbers. Or I can do this one and use the December, like right here, like I did on this. So that's what I'll be using, and I'll be using cut aparts, and I'll be using probably my little photo printer to uh, print out photos for this. So we'll see if I like it. Um, here's the back page here. So super cute. Thought I would try it out. And instead of buying one of the expensive kits, this is what I decided to do. So I'm sharing that with you. And then also I started using those Dollar Tree boxes that I got. These things here, these little trays. I painted one of them and put cardstock in the back and made my own home decor and here it is here it says let's cuddle and it's just gonna sit up on a bookshelf like this and then I put some washi tape around it uh, it says let it snow snowed in just chillin burr snow blessed so thought that would be cute for on a bookshelf out in our living room because I always tell my daughter also I'm like what I'm like cuddle with mama so thought that would come in handy there and make cute little decorative storage thing so I grabbed more of these this last time we went because um, they were out of them and then they just restocked and these are at Dollar Tree and they're just some wood some thin wood and I'm just gonna paint them up and you can make little trays with them to store things in and decorate them or you can make shelves or little um, like decorative stuff with them decorate that you can decorate the back however you want and make it like a little decorative piece. So I thought that would be cute and thought I would try it. And then um, I'm making my daughter, my daughter has like four teachers. She has her two, her one main teacher, the teacher's aide, and then her art gym teacher. And then I'm also making one for like the director of the school little preschool that she goes to. Um, I'm making like little um, storage box, little boxes and I'm having her paint them so I'll be sharing those and I might even have her share them with you. And then I'm going to paint the front of them like probably like red or something and then put the teacher's name on it. thought that'd be cute. And then put like their little gifts in them. So that's what I hope to do. And then I made some wands and I used this Elena Craft Heart Circles die. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite dies. I use it all the time. And again, that's by Elena Cuddle. And she's on AliExpress. 
um, love her stuff and she has her own designer but I made this wand here and I used some stickers that I had I believe these are from Dollar Tree and then some mesh right here with some ribbon so there's that one and then I made this one and then I made this one for her teacher so and I just used hot glue to glue these all together and then this one for her art teacher which she also teaches gym but I just thought this would be cute um, just for her art teacher as well and there's like little scissors and everything like that that I had and then I also made hold on I got everything all stacked up into a tote and then I also made some like gift tags in case I wanted to put tags on the gifts so using some teacher paper that I had school paper and then I had my daughter color some Moana figures and some dinosaur figures um, colored them up and then I cut them out and I'm thinking either we can use them on cards for that she makes for her teachers for Christmas maybe add like a Christmas hat on them or whatever um, or uh, add them to the boxes so we'll see what we decide to do with those and then I also made had my daughter make some handprint ornaments for all of the family relatives. Um, just used some popsicle sticks. I'll show you this one. Made some popsicle sticks, glued them all together like this, and then I put the her name and the date, and then hot glued some ribbon to it, and they can hang this on the tree. So I made those, and then for my cards. Well, actually, before I share the cards, um, the Moana stamp set, I'm making some dye, some tags. I colored them up using my Copic markers and colored the pig. And these are a stamp from Paper Nest Dolls, which I thought was super cool. So I had to get it because my daughter is a big Moana fan. She came, went as Moana for Halloween. And I'm thinking we're going to do Moana for her birthday theme. So I made Moana gift tags. I figure I can use these for Christmas, for her birthday, whatever. So I made those using the Paper Nest Doll stamp. And I colored them with my Copics. And then I also made some cards that I wanted to share. And so I made some shaker cards, and I used some sequins that I had. It says Merry Christmas, and I gotta add sentiments to all these yet, but they're pretty well finished. And then for like the background here, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks kind of like a uh, stone. And I used this paper pad here, pebbled, which was super cool. So there's one card that I made. And then again, I have to add um, sentiments to these, but they're pretty much done. And then this one, like I die cut a bunch of, like punched out a lot of um, like snowflakes. Like I used some of these on some of the cards. Some of the like the negatives that they like punched out, I used these on cards. And then here's this one where I punched out some snowflakes and then I put the blue behind it. And then here I punched out a snowflake and then I used the negative as like a shaker card. Same here, same thing. Used it as a shaker. And then I used some of the cuts from these and made this card here. And then same with this one. This one I added glitter to it. Wink of Stella, I should say. Use the snowflake corner punch that I had. I believe these are all Martha Stewart. Another shaker. So, having fun with the shakers. And then I made this card here using this uh, image that I colored using those uh, blending brushes that I tried out. And then I had some snowflake washi tape I used. So that one's done. And then I used this one as well and again this is an image that I colored with the blending brushes so yeah 
that's my project share and um, I have some other things that I would love to share but I can't right now but I will be sharing those shortly some things that I've been making uh, for family and stuff like that for Christmas so hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope this inspired you to create some stuff and give you guys some ideas so thanks for watching guys I will talk to you guys later bye